Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, Litecoin and Chainlink price prediction and technical analysis. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco back with another video. In today's video guys, I'll be giving you guys an update with what's been going on. There's been some massive news from China and blockchain which had a huge move in Bitcoin. It's probably one of the biggest Bitcoin moves we've seen, especially the strength of it within a couple of hours. It, this feels like a 2017 sort of move uh, and again, I'm not exaggerating, this is a huge move with volume and this is something to take notice of so in this video guys i'll be looking at some of the major coins i'll be giving you guys if you've missed this move some ideas of how you could look to buy and also giving giving you guys an update on what my thoughts are in the altcoin market it's it's a bit disappointing for me because i was away this weekend i was on, not on a holiday i was away for the weekend i went to amsterdam and it was really disappointing because this is when we had that move and i unfortunately missed this trade as you can see it was one of the biggest moves um, and uh, and i was away for it so it's a bit disappointing and i've come back to see this so i'm going through the plan now of coins i'm looking to trade and um, i'll be giving you guys an update i've got my head down it, it takes me a few days to get back into it but hopefully you know i've spent all day today looking at old coins and charts so um, i feel like i'm getting back into it so i want to make this video to give you guys a detailed thoughts on bitcoin and cryptocurrency market so let's have a quick look at bitcoin now what i'll do is i'll actually look at a cleaner chart for you so um it, i can give you guys a fresh perspective on bitcoin so when bitcoin was doing this if you remember i made this video when it broke down it was a big breakout and my plan was again i bought some here if you if you're part of my group um i made a video saying i'm looking to buy bitcoin around this level so 8000 i think i bought my first at 8400 or 8500 i bought some at 8000 and even some to 7500 so those were the three levels i bought bitcoin and some people are saying oh why are you buying it it's really bearish and this is the reason i mean when we were in such a bullish chart and rsi i mean this is a different chart if you look go back to this rsi was very oversold and you guys know how how i use rsi and it looked really interesting to me and that's where more of a longer term position if i was at my desk i would have sold bitcoin and this pump because you can see there's some resistance there if you go into the four hourly you'll see you know bitcoin sold off this is a good level i would have sold my bitcoin here if i was at my desk at that point um and since then it has pulled back we knew it was going to pull back and then it had another bounce so longer time frame if bitcoin can stay above and um, i'll draw some fibonacci for you so you can see bitcoin is bouncing off the 618 and i don't know how i mean i highly recommend you watch the video i released uh, this is on fibonacci it's the long awaited one that uh, that came out on fibonacci and I explained to you how I actually trade. And one thing that Bitcoin does quite a lot is Bitcoin reverses at the 618 level. And again, if you're just newbie to bit, I explain exactly in detail how to draw them, where to draw them, and which Fibonacci levels to use in that video. But you can see how Bitcoin uh, maintains that 618 level. And even if you draw one here, you'll see how it maintains a 618 level here as well. So this is something that I always keep an eye out for. It was at the 618 level. There was a weekly moving average. Those were some of the reasons I was buying here. And I've actually sold about 25.5% of my position. And I'll show you exactly where I sold as well. Let me go back into a different chart now for you. This is the chart that I've drawn for you. So we've had this bit of consolidation. It had a big breakout. And you can see it exactly failed at that zone where previous resistance. It bounced from here. Like I said, I would have sold here. When it did this bounce and couldn't make a new high, I actually sold it here. I was back here yesterday, last night, when I made that post in the Facebook group. I saw it and I sold some here. I'm still in the Bitcoin position. And I, what I would like is maybe a pullback to this zone and then I'd like for it to continue higher. There's a high probability that it will have another bounce. If it does break out and stay above this red zone, I think longer term it will be very, very bullish. This is what we want to see. So if you're tr looking to trade long term and not really trading, wait for it to, you know, 
close above this zone uh, about the 96000 10000 level if it can close a weekly close above the 9600 9, level this week then you could buy a longer term position i'm a trader so i'll be looking to buy here and then um, maybe buy some around these levels as well i'd really think it will get another bounce again it depends at the moment this is what i'm looking at i want the rsi for our rsi to be sold out maybe my indicator for it to come back and start pointing higher then i'll be looking to trade a bitcoin again because i have sold a big position and that 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 makes more money again some people thank me for that chain link trade you know they said they made a lot of money a lot of people joined my group after that but i make more money on bitcoin trades because i've trade bitcoin with a lot more capital uh, than than when i trade altcoin so this was a huge trade for me and i'm really happy the the way it worked out now i'm looking for it to pull back to this zone and if it does pull back i'll be looking to play a longer term why do i like this zone it is a 50 to 60 percent fibonacci level i don't i've not really taught you guys my elliott wave theories uh, one of the things i look for is uh, patterns i look for is a one-to-one -one extension abc correction when we have moves like this so this will be the zone so 8000 sort of 200 to 8800 8600 will be the zone i will be looking to buy so that is my thoughts on bitcoin i hope this makes sense to you so longer term ideally what i would have liked was again you don't get your ideal scenarios ideally i would have liked a spike down like this if you remember where it shakes people out and uh, this is what i was hoping for like a shake out like this shake out like this we didn't get the exact similar but it was kind of similar shake out you can see a big red volume people got very bearish and this is a short squeeze people call it manipulation but you can mo complain about it moan about it what I try to tell people is rather than moaning about it, see it happening, learn about these manipulations and trade it. You can see the big volume move and it is looking quite nice. So what I will be looking at now is for Bitcoin to close above uh you can see there's lots of fibonacci levels so above the 382 level if it can close above the 382 level on a weekly or a daily time frame that's when i'll be looking to buy bitcoin longer term from trading point of view you can move, use my strategy that i teach a pullback simple pull back to moving average you're gonna teach fibonacci elliott waves and all that detail but the the basic things if you're new to you i, I teach you from the beginning to the end so this is what, what i'll be looking at so hopefully that makes sense i'm going to quickly go through some of the other coins um xrp is still above here xrp is still looking quite good it's not really pulled back that much the, I did get stopped out on my XRP BTC trade. If you guys are aware, XRP has been one of the one of my better calls uh, here, and I called XRP trend change from below here. This this sort of ending diagonal pattern, which is quite popular, and I got stopped out. My stop was below this 50% level. Go check out the previous video. It double top. You could have sold some here. Um, I did take some profits around this zone and this was another scalp trade and once it went below the 50% level that's when I got out again you could wait for it I mean it looks like it could be turning up now the daily RSI is very oversold but at the moment um, I'm not looking at altcoins as much I'm mainly looking at Bitcoin um, if the if XRP to if XRP is not bad for quick trading at the point but from from my experience when we have seen moves like this uh, Bitcoin can be can go crazy and it can affect your altcoin trade so do be careful in the next few days when you're trading um, altcoins XRP XRP USD is looking good as long as it sort of I mean what I would like to do is if it breaks above this level you can see this is a huge level it's the 236 level as well one of the biggest tips I give in my Fibonacci lesson is the 236 level and you can see if it breaks out above that that could be huge for XRP xrp btc is oversold if we get a trend change in XR xrp btc i'll be looking at xrp btc again ethereum again it's not as bullish as uh, bitcoin it's got a triple bottom if it breaks this level ethereum it could be very bearish for ethereum so we need to keep that keep our eye out for that level xrp btc chart is not looking good it couldn't break out of, out break out out of this area and uh, it broke down is below the moving average it's made a high lows higher highs this potential double bottom here trying to move up but at the moment i'm not really looking at xrp for longer term trades for scalping this would have been a beautiful trade double bottom four hour oversold uh, divergence rsi a very oversold price action so there's there's quite a few reasons for you to take a trade on here 
there's a gap here as well so you could be looking at shorter term trades but longer term i'm like i said i'm really keeping my eye out for uh, for bitcoin again litecoin another coin that is not looking as good for longer term i actually said i've bought some at 50 actually i could actually sell some i'll see how this pattern works because if you want, remember i've not made a litecoin video in a while i might make a litecoin video i've not made a litecoin video in a while yeah, I mean, if you remember, I bought. I said I was going to buy some at 50, so I bought some at 50 uh, for longer term position. But that's not a bad gain, is it? You know, 25% move is not a bad gain. So I might look to take some profits in that trade. But at the moment, if you look at the L2C BTC chart, it is looking very bearish. It's looking probably. Yeah, if it breaks below this level, guys, I'm not really going to be interested in LTC BTC. It's not looking very interesting. Finally, there's a wildcard coin. I'm gonna make some old coin, post about uh, old coins that I'm looking to trade in the group. Uh, there's some coins that are doing really well. A free tip that I might give you, I'll give you on YouTube is Neo. Keep an eye out for Neo, guys. Neo is a Chinese based, I believe. Um, or there's something going on with rumors it seems to be going really well it seems to be pumping quite hard finally guys chain link chain link had that big move like i talked about before we traded this really well i shared live signals on youtube and on that group with exact entry and exit signals and it has been a really good trade it's pulled back it had another bounce unfortunately i didn't trade this bounce because i didn't from a long from a trading point of view you could have because it's a you can see a 10 20 percent move but from a high time frame, I wouldn't have traded it because it's not as high a probability. I've seen this play hundreds of thousands of times. It looks like a maybe one, two, four, five Elliott wave point of view. I'm trying to hold this double bottom. If it can get a get to this level, I'll make a detailed video on Chainlink maybe tomorrow. If Chainlink can get to back to these levels again, it can have a new breakout and new highs. But at the moment, I'm not really looking at Chainlink because I said to you guys, it's not high probability. This was high probability to buy. Buying here is for shorter term trades. If Chainlink can break above this level, I will be very bullish on Chainlink. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. If that happens, I'll keep let you guys know. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button so you do not miss any videos. New month is starting. Two months left in this educational course. If you're interested in it, full crypto educational course. I'm not sure if I'll do this again. You can join uh, in the next few days when the next month starts. There's still a couple of spaces available. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this helps and apologies for being away. I couldn't keep you guys up to date with the big Bitcoin move. And I'm mainly disappointed with myself because I would have traded the hell out of this. Because um, I would have loved to have traded this move. And it would have been a really nice uh trading opportunity anyways i'll keep you guys up to date now there's going to be more opportunities please do not just chase the markets because you can see what happens i want to end the video on this bitcoin uh cme futures bitcoin there's i mean gaps do not always have to close but they tend to close if there's a gap close happens and we see you know price pulling back to the moving average then this could be a really good trade we can see these gaps closed this gap was closed this gap was closed previously if you study the patterns how many times the gaps have been closed this could be a potential gap close but again I'm, i wouldn't just short it once you see a candle like that it's not the best idea to short but i will be keeping an eye out to see how the pattern emerges if you, you know make a double top i might look to short it but this would be something to keep in mind. And if you look at the red zone that I talked to you guys about previously, it is in a similar sort of zone as the gap close. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button. Also, guys, I'll be back to doing my Sunday crypto trading, live trading uh, free for YouTube. I'll leave the uh, create an event in the Facebook group. So if you're interested, join the Facebook group. It's a really good community. It's 100% free. So you can join the Facebook group and uh, we can have a great discussion there. And I'll release the event there so you guys can request coins and make any questions. And we'll do another live trading session next Sunday. So thank you very much. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video video thank you very much